Hi, I'm Carrie Robin. Let's go find some adventure. Hi, I'm Carrie Wilbanks here at St. Andrews by the Sea, an incredible resort town in New Brunswick. Come on, because we're going to show you some of our favorite things to do and see in the area. My name's Jenny Simard, and I own Turtle Shore Adventures. Uh, we love to take visitors from all around the world around our little towns. On the tour, Jenny covers a lot of history from her four-wheel drive Jeep including in places like Minister's Island, a place we arrive by driving across the ocean floor. It's a little bumpy, but uh, I call that a little off-roading adventure. The island is home to the restored summer home of Sir William Van Horn, builder of the Canadian Pacific Railway. Here you can walk through some of the 50 rooms and also down to the stone bathhouse where a natural swimming pool was built, taking advantage of water at high tide, filling the pool. And you can see one of the largest livestock barns in North America and the old windmill that used to power the island. You can also visit the Pandlebury Lighthouse uh, where you can have a good look at Navy Island which closes off our harbor. As we look out to the shore, Jimmy tells us that at low tide you can see all kinds of artifacts from the past like old pieces of china and coal that would have come from England when it fell off the ships. Our commercial street, Water Street, still has the original buildings. So when people walk on Water Street, they feel like they're stepping back in time. Come out on tour with us. We would love to take you around. We love to share our passion for the history of this place. Dramatic tides in St. Andrews by the Sea means some of the best whale watching. Come on, because we're headed out to sea. The Bay of Fundy's high tides come with nutrient-rich waters filled with fish that attract up to 12 species of whales. To test our luck at spotting some, we had to sea on a lobster yacht with Island Quest. Along the way, biologists on board talk about marine life as we enjoy different coastal sites and seemingly endless stretches of sea, where we soon see a group of whales feeding, and each of the several times they surface is as exciting as the last. Offshore, you will find plenty of activities, including at one of Canada's most impressive gardens. At Kingsbury Gardens, you could easily spend a full afternoon exploring the different paths that lead to everything, including a sculpture garden, rose garden, and one designed for the blind, the Sense and Sensitivity Garden. Plan on having lunch here at Savor in the Garden, where the focus is on both seasonal and regional. A top pick is the lobster roll, which is served toasted and best enjoyed from the restaurant's patio where you can watch the alpaca feeding at noon. Another top pick is visiting the largest home in St. Andrews by the Sea, where you could easily spend an afternoon exploring treasures. The home now houses a museum opened by Vincent Prager to showcase the work of his grandfather, Joseph Oppenheimer, and mother, Eva Prager. One of the most notable parts of the museum is seeing a replica painting of Albert Einstein painted by Eva after her father's portrait of Einstein, a friend of his, went missing during the Hitler regime. You also do not want to miss seeing the photo of Pierre Trudeau, a friend of Eva's painted at the time he was prime minister. When it comes to a hotel, stay where the history is. At the Algonquin Resort, a Tudor-style castle built in 1889 and rebuilt after a fire in 1914, underwent a top-to-bottom restoration a few years back to add several modern touches to the luxury hotel while still being mindful to keep the original character in every area, from the rooms to the common areas. On site, you will find an outdoor and indoor pool with a water slide and a rooftop terrace where you can catch some of the best views of the area. One of the star amenities is the resort's 18-hole golf course that shows off views of the bay and is one of the oldest golf courses in Canada. It's no wonder St. Andrews by the Sea, an area long sought after as a summer retreat for more than a century, is still bringing in travelers from all over the world looking for a quintessential maritime experience. When you are in St. Andrews, it's 
It's less than an hour's drive to Bay Ferries, which will cruise you to the shore of Digby, Nova Scotia in just over two hours. Choose to sit in an inside lounge or opt for the open deck with perfectly breezy views. On board, you will also find amenities including a cafe, movie lounge, and business center.